So if you've seen our previous videos from Hyderabad, Tanay talks about the Stage 3 Audi DT as probably the best platform for the E888 2-litre TSI. But what if you want practicality, luxury, driving dynamics and still the amazing tuner-friendly 2-litre TSI? Well, I don't think it gets much better than this. This over here is a Porsche Macan with the 2-litre TSI and yep, we've been hit with the E888 fever ever since we've come to Hyderabad. And this thing has been done all the way up to stage 2 and I'm going to tell you all about it today. Before we talk about the mods that this Macan has, we'll quickly gloss over the looks of this thing. First of all, comment down below what do you think of the Macan and do you think it looks good or not? I think it looks pretty, pretty nice. It is a very standard looking Porsche design because of the characteristic headlights and the characteristic taillights as well as the design which is super flowy and very bubbly. It looks like a pretty staple Porsche design. Apart from that, you get these very standard looking 18 inch wheels and they have a pretty thick sidewall for the tyres and that's pretty good because it's still an SUV and it should be able to do some SUV duties. Behind the wheels you have some really nice looking red brake calipers and since they're Porsche brakes I'm pretty sure that they'll be very very powerful when you stomp on them. So that's enough of design talk let's just quickly open up the hood and talk about the plethora of mods that this thing has. So let's get on to the engine and the mods and especially the hood of this car. Well, it's not really a hood, it's actually like a clamshell and it looks super cool once you've opened it. So just put my hand here, hydraulic struts and yeah, it has these cutouts over here for the headlights and I think so this looks really, really cool. So coming to the engine, this is an EA888 2.0-litre TSI engine. Stock, it used to make around 245 bhp and 370 newton meters of torque. But now with this complete stage 2 setup, which includes a Wagner intercooler, uh, FI exhaust system and a downpipe from FI itself, uh, a BMC air filter, APR coils, uh, RU Ethinium uh, plugs, if I'm not wrong, I must have butchered that name for sure, a uh, custom ECU remap by Superchips and a TCU remap by TVS Engineering. Combine all of that together, it makes 335 uh, horsepower and 495 newton meters of torque, which is pretty pretty healthy and well this is just standard EA888 uh, engine power figures for a stage 2 car. Pretty powerful, it's going to be very punchy and moreover it's an all wheel drive car so it won't have any sort of problem putting the traction down. All of this work has been done over here in Hyderabad at this garage called Karmic Performance. They've done some really really cool builds and they're currently working on a stage 3 BMW 320D. So do check them out on Instagram and give them a follow. Now considering that a 2-litre Macan comes sub 1 crore and the next upgrade which is the Macan S with the turbo V6 engine comes for 1.4 crores at showroom, putting in 7 lakh worth of mods to get 335 horsepower isn't too bad. But the Macan has some big responsibilities to fulfill. One, it is a Porsche and two, it's a mini SUV. So let's start with the SUV side of things. So I've just put the car into drive and we're going to drive out of this little off-roady kind of section where we have come to take the b-roll and this is no problem for the Macan and even if you're in a little bit more of a tricky situation it has ride height adjustment you have some uh, suspension stiffness settings you have an off-road mode hill descent mode you have the works plus all-wheel drive so you don't really have to worry about anything in terms of off-road situations with the Macan so once we've gotten out of this little patch we will rejoin and I'm going to talk about how this thing is to drive on the road. put the car into sports mode that makes the suspension stiffer it drops the ride height it puts the gearbox in full attack mode and let's give it a little burst of acceleration and this fi exhaust sounds super nice and let's just give it a little bit more beams and honestly 
It's a pretty quick car for such a big thing. <laughs> the exhaust sounds super nice. And I've not given it full full like I haven't depressed the throttle pedal to its maximum and still it feels really quick and really zippy. sounds so good especially with this FI exhaust system and the shifts are super quick that TVS engineering TCU map definitely does make the shifts downshifts everything super crisp and the power of the engine can really be felt now I'm pretty sure when this car was stocked the power must have felt a little subdued a little bit hidden but now once all of these mods have been done it's it's opened up quite a lot and moreover you know, once you start clicking through the modes, you have Sport Plus, Sport, Normal, all of these different modes, the car feels a little bit different. And yep, in Sport Plus, in full attack mode, it is pretty, pretty quick. And it sounds so good. It sounds absolutely amazing. The pops and bangs, the bobbles on the overrun, they really, really enhance the driving experience. Let's just turn traction off. Not really made that much of a difference because the mechanical grip of the Makan is so high because of its uh, all-wheel drive system that basically it has so much mechanical grip that even if you turn off traction control doesn't really make a difference so after this turn we have a little bit of an open patch we'll just quickly do a small little launch control so this thing has a DL501 transmission which is basically a torque converter and in launch it is super fast and you almost you know you see the sky that's how high the suspension goes up because well it's a SUV the suspension is soft so once the car like accelerates basically you're seeing the sky for a second very fun playful car and what I like the most is that it's still a Porsche so you know the driving dynamics nothing is being missed in this car like it's still it's still very sharp to drive it's very precise and you know when you want it to chill out just put it into normal mode and you know you have a very normal dailyable SUV over here but put it into sports mode and this thing completely transforms Karmic performance has done a really really good job in tuning this car and building it because the parts that this thing has are quality and yeah this is a very interesting build because this is probably the best you know overall car that you can get which has the EA triple eight you have some amazing luxury on the inside you have the Porsche badge and the driving dynamic that comes with a Porsche you also have the super tuner friendly EA triple eight loads of ground clearance loads of practicality so this is probably the best of all worlds if you think about that but again 
This doesn't come cheap. I'm pretty sure a Porsche Macan like this comes of 50 lakhs, 60 lakhs or something like that. This being a 2019 model, so probably even a little bit more. But I can see why someone would get this car. And if you have the money, definitely try and do something like this because, well, it's super fun to do a car up like this and especially a Porsche because the driving that this thing gives you, the feel of having this badge in front of you and the precise nature of a Porsche, well, it's unmatched. Like, I know I rave about the VRS quite a lot, but again, this interior, the feel, the badge in front of you, the feel is completely different. A huge shout out to Karmic Performance for letting us shoot this sweet build of theirs. If you are in Hyderabad and are looking to build something like this, do hit them up and let them know that this video brought you here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this amazing Porsche Macan. And I'll see you in the next one.